Back to Carolina will be a throw in to the Railhawks. Looks like the Railhawks are concentrating on changing the point of attack and making the defense move and then also looking for gaps as the defense moves from side to side. Here's Watson. Watson with hard to believe no points on the season as he was a point machine a year ago for the Railhawks. Watson though said that with Palladini in there and the front runners he's doing some different work. Palladini. That was offside there. Palladini uh, with a good look and uh, just barely offsides on the outside. So this will go back to Wilmington. Fans be sure to visit the concession stand, stand and vendors in the concourse to get your favorite foods and treats during tonight's game. This broadcast of the Lamar Hunt Open Cup was made available by U.S. Soccer. Log on to ussoccer.com for more information about the U.S. Open Cup and find out how you can join U.S. Soccer SC, the official supporters club of U.S. Soccer. All right, Charlie, thank you. Dean Link, you along with Charlie Slagle here, Field 2, Wake Med Soccer Park. We are in the 10th minute, no score, the Carolina Railhawks and the Wilmington Hammerheads. Matt Watson. Comes all the way back now to feed it to Gilkerson. Hard tackle over there by Jamie Watson. No relation to Matt. But you seem to know a little bit about Jamie Watson, number 77. Yeah, played at Carolina. Uh, very quick, uh, very aggressive, and um, and then left early on the uh, pro uh, the Project Adidas that they had and uh, went out into the, um, into the uh, MLS and played there and now is back here in Wilmington. This will be one back by the Carolina Railhawks. It'll be a throw in as we are approaching minute 11. Jeremy Tollison gives it to Gilkerson. Good quick touches by Gilkerson. Palladini tries to stay with it. And shielded off. It'll be back to the Carolina Railhawks. Here comes Watson. He's got some real estate. Ahmed Diallo's in the box. So is Luke Kremelmeyer. He gives it back to Cunliffe, but intercepted there by Wilmington. Wilmington can counter now. They drop it to Briggs. Looking up top for Bagley again, and this pass way out. It'll be thrown in back to Carolina Railhawks. Mark Schulte standing over there, but Devin McKenney will handle it. That'll be a throw in just over midfield. I sort of did a hybrid of Project 40 and uh, Generation Adidas and said Project Adidas. It was Generation Adidas that uh, brought uh, uh, Watson to the uh, MLS. No worries. I know what you're talking about. Here comes Watson. Bagley's up top. Bagley somehow able to get to it, but then Jeremy Tollison does. He gets bumped off it and stays with it. Jeremy Tollison now a regular with Mark Schulte, filling in for Jack Stewart, who it was Stewart and Schulte to start the season and many people felt like those two at center back were going to be tough to get through. Tolleson not as big as Stewart, but very capable defender. Martin Rennie has been with him for a long time, had him out in Cascade and then with Cleveland, and he was part of the Martin Rennie package uh, coming over from Cleveland. Was there a whole package when they came over? Uh, kind of, and it's a pretty good one, you know, when you got Schulte and Tolleson and Reed and Boondu. I'll take that. Of course, when Martin came, he had no idea that... Cleveland was going to go USL1. No remote idea, in fact. Here's Tollison. Looking for Kremlmeyer. Franks to Sally as he gets knocked down by Palladini. Sally was in training camp to start for the Carolina Railhawks. Was looking for a team, continued to look, and then finally David Irving gave him a chance. And, you know, he's a solid player, one of those workmanlike players in the middle of the field, very hard and tough. Hard, and he also plays very simple, uh, which is not a negative for uh, those non-soccer fans. Playing mm -hmm. simple just gets the ball to other players and, and does it without a lot of flair. Here's Briggs. He'll try to switch fields. This is back to Watson. Now Briggs again. Briggs and Watson have combined on a couple here. He'll keep it alive. And for Bagley. Bagley can turn. He does, and Caleb Patterson-Sewell... Always seems to have that near post guarded. He certainly had it guarded there. That was a good, uh, good pass by Thayer to Bagley. As you see it right there, into space, leading. Good, uh, good goalkeeping there by uh, Caleb as he uh, had the near post covered, which you're supposed to, 
The easiest place to score is on the near post, so that's where goalkeepers are supposed to be. All right, Charlie, we are in minute 14 here at Wakeman Soccer Park in Cary. Field number two, this is the U.S. Open Cup. Carolina Railhawks and Wilmington Hammerheads, we thank you for being with us here on USLlive.com where you can catch exclusive interviews, features, and highlights of the Carolina Railhawks on USLlive.com, the league's official online video channel, USLlive.com, your source for soccer action. And this, this U.S. Open Cup game, even though it's a second rounder, has a big prize attached to the end, the home game with uh, Chicago Fire. So uh, both teams are going to do whatever it takes to try to win this game. Indeed. Wilmington also earning that bid if they happen to come in here and knock off the Railhawks. It's going to be interesting to see uh, if and when there's a first goal. Uh, if it's early in this first half uh, and it's by the Railhawks, then it's going to open this game up. If it happens to be by the uh, Hammerheads, it's going to really tighten the game up. They're not going to have many people over midfield. They, they've already shown what they want to do right now, and they want to keep this score low right now at 0-0 as long as they possibly can. This one driven in. Got to remember, very wet out there, so any ball that comes in, it's not a guarantee that it'll be scooped up cleanly. Gilkerson looking for options. That one knocked away. And here come the Hammerheads. Watson has been good in combination with Briggs. This time Gilkerson cleans it up again. Palladini will finally win it back. Now Palladini. Left side over to Cunliffe. Cunliffe looking to switch the field to Kremlmeyer. He mishit it. Definitely mishit it. Uh, he had a uh, chance for Kermermeyer over there, but uh, couldn't get it there. Charlie, go ahead and tell us uh, what the other games are going on in the U.S. Open Cup tonight. Yeah, the U.S. Open Cup, of course, you've got this game right here, which is Wilmington and USL 2 versus uh, Carolina, USL 1. Let's watch this uh, right, action hang on, right yeah, now. Well done, Charlie. This one's Cunliffe on the cross. Layout across, and Hamed Diallo can't get to it as it was cleared away in the last minute by Graham Tatters. Very good play, uh, that dangerous ball in front, away from the goalkeeper. When you're trying to cross the ball, you try to take the goalkeeper out of play. You take the goalkeeper out of play, you're in very good shape. Here it comes right here. Good first touch, taking the ball down to the end line. Second touch, took the goalkeeper out of play. Defender had to come and uh, make it for a corner kick. All right, we'll get to those open cup matches after this corner kick. Surprised Diallo didn't go with his head on that one instead of his foot, it was about head high. Here comes Palladini, looking for Schulte. This one punched out of there. Still loose, Schulte gets his head on it, cleared off the line. McKenney can't get to it. This one knocked out of bounds. We have throw in back to Carolina. And Mark Schulte, so good, when he sees an opening, he goes in, sees blood in the water. Yeah, and Sattler uh, did not do a very good job on, uh, on that punching. Here it comes right here. Corner kick comes out. Sattler punches it straight up in the air. And uh, Schulte with a good shot and that uh, had to be saved off the line as Diallo was trying to knock them into the goal. Schulte was looking for yet another goal. Now he'll handle the throw in. And if it wasn't for the back line, two defenders really almost hit their head on the crossbar trying to save that one. Schulte with a long throw in. He'll get it back. Driven back in. And this time Sattler has it. Mark Schulte. Oh, here's a good ball as Watson showing some speed. He gets by Gilkerson. Watson still on it. Now he'll finally slow up. Can he get around Gilkerson? He does. There's a foul there. Now they'll say play on. And Gilkerson lucky as he clips him from behind. Yeah, that, was, uh, that was very close. Close and dangerous as Watson. You said we're going to hear from him. Good ball slid into Diallo, but too late as Sattler clears it away. I'll tell you what, Watson put a clinic on right there with Gilkerson guarding him. Yeah, he actually went by him at, with speed and then with some skill. Ooh, hard foul as Kremlmeyer goes down. Let's see what uh, Mark Kadlesic, Kadlesic rather, is going to do. It looks like a possible yellow card is coming, and it will be issued to number 18, Graham Tatters. His tackles from behind uh, are usually going to get a uh, caution. 